this man named David Arola. He is a mushroom expert. And he got called in, and there was this family that ate mushrooms that were the deadly Amanita mushrooms. With the trained eye, you can definitely tell Kokora within the glance, that thick memory. The father ate them at dinner time. They tasted delicious. He didn't have any problems with it. He went to bed, woke up the next morning, and he was feeling fine. So the family decided to have them for breakfast. As soon as they did that, the father went into convulsions. He was shaking and, and really sick. two children, a mother and a father, and only one child survived. With that big old stalk coming out. With the deadly Amanita mushrooms, they taste very good. There's no symptoms from poisoning right away. About eight to ten hours later is when the symptoms come in. And the problem with the Amanitas is, is that once the symptoms come in, you can't go in and pump it out because it's already been assimilated. It's already been taken in by the body, so there's nothing in your stomach to pump. Just Big membrane, look at this. I had to peel that off. Now you can't mistake this for the flying agaric woodland or coastal. That's an impressive Kokora. I love Kokora for its fishy taste. Not as popular in the United States. It's almost like a taboo, actually. Kokora grow abundantly in Humboldt County. They would last October and November if you learn how to recognize them, could be a pretty good stable food, actually. With a large dose of Amanita mascara, it could be fatal. Three of these will send you vomit and diarrhea for days. So I'm gonna leave this pun rather than hunt. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> That's David Alores. Keep. Many wild mushrooms are slippery and slimy. Kakora is no exception. The best way I have found to eliminate some of the sliminess of Kakora, after cleaning the mushroom, chop it into a bite size, add little water into a pan, then boil it for 10 to 15 minutes. Drain it out into a strainer and rinse it off immediately with cold water while stirring. Let it drip dry, and then it's ready for cooking. My favorite is to simply fry it up with garlic and butter. Add salt and pepper. It is perfect side dish.